So standing start, private road. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting day planned because I'm here in flat and sunny Lincolnshire with my TD5 Defender and I'm going to be getting this thing stage two remapped over at Alive Tuning. Um, I'm near Louth in Lincolnshire now uh, where Alive are based and uh, yeah getting this stage two remapped on the video today and seeing what it drives like. Now for those that follow the channel regularly will know that on my last video I did I put a new intercooler in this uh, Defender and that was an Alive intercooler. I also put a new radiator in too because that's something that I broke and it's quite a long story but if you follow the channel and have a look back through the videos you'll see what happened there. So we're going to be taking this down to a live tuning today and um, going to be seeing what a stage two remap does to the car, how it drives and also over at Alive they have one of their demo defenders in which is the one they test a lot of their new gear on and that's got one of their new turbos as well. So we're going to be seeing what that drives like too. So if you're interested in all of that and want to see what this thing drives like after a stage two remap, stick around for the video. So I've got my KBX grill back on the car. For those that watched the other video, um, I did ask saying I wasn't quite I wasn't so sure on this because really you can't see the new intercooler. I'm going to go for a mesh grill, but for now, because I've driven here today, I decided it'd be better to um, put something over it. So I've gone for my old KBX grill back over the um, front end. So yeah, off to a live tuning today. Going to get this thing stage two remapped. Let's see what that does to the car, how it drives after that. <laughs> here over at a live tuning here in Laos as you can see and uh, we're just getting my car up on the dyno to see what it runs like it's been for a check it seems to be going okay so go out and test your car first make sure it's running as it should mine is no error codes or anything like that so now we're going to go out put on the dyno and have a look and see what numbers it's putting out before we do any remap into it at all So we have run the car on the dyno and it turns out actually my car probably has a stage one tune on it because it's putting out about 160 horsepower. So what we're going to do is actually get rid of all the map on the car completely because I'm not sure when that was done or who did it. And we're going to run it on the dyno at stock completely with nothing on it at all. And then we're going to start putting stage two remap on it too and seeing what that looks like. So the guys have just um, sorted the EGR blank on the car because it's something I wanted to do. I wasn't really sure how, but the guys have kindly put an EGR blank on the, uh, on the vehicle now. So that's all sorted to stop the recirculating gases going back through the engine. Uh, just waiting for it to cool down. Then we're going to run it at um, stock and then do the stage two as well. So I'm with Stuart now in the dyno. We've got my truck on the dyno and we've just put the stage two remap on. So I'm going to show you some of the figures that we're putting out now and what we did originally. So Stuart's right here and he's going to be talking through some of the figures on our graph now. So ultimately what you're looking at here is uh, the, the power results from the three variants, variants of, uh, of tune. Yeah. So we actually tested the vehicle as it came in. Uh, it, it turns out she was already tuned, making 162 horsepower. And that is this. Is the dotted line here. Yeah. This is power at the wheels. Ultimately, your horsepower figure was this one. Yeah. We then applied a base a base file to the vehicle and, and tested its stock. It actually made the stock stock brake horsepower and torque figures. It was really really nice to see. Yeah. We, knew, we know at that point that we've got a good healthy example um, to work with. And yeah, com a combination of looking at the data and looking at the power results, it, it, it tells us we've got a good vehicle to work with. Uh, then we went ahead and created what we would class as our, our stage two. Uh -huh. The vehicle's actually a really, really nice example. It's responding a lot more That's nicely. That's good. Yeah. So we're at 190, 192 horsepower, which you can see at the top here. Um, and a little bit lower down in the orange here, you've got the torque figure. So it's nice to see 400 newtons. That's really uh, good. Of yeah. torque, yeah. So uh, you've got the blue, the blue lines here are the power at the wheels. So you can obviously see the difference between stock Previous tune as presented, and, and then, then your live tune. The new one, yeah. Yeah, and then the horsepower is obviously you've got the red lines here, 
uh -huh. the lowest being a stock file, then the previous tuners file, and then our uh, file. Yeah. And then obviously with the torque as well, um, you've got three large. Uh, That's a massive increase, isn't it? The, the torque particularly, you yeah, see that more than any of them. And also what I think is nice as well is that there are gains throughout without mm. the uh, without the loss of uh, any performance anywhere else. So you've not sacrificed power at the top end, uh, power at the bottom end rather than at the top end. Yeah, yeah, no, I see what you're saying. No, that's really steady as well, isn't it, the way it climbs up and drops out. So that's really good. So we nearly got 192.3 on the max. So almost 200 of the stage two, and that's a, a live intercooler and a, a live stage two remap, isn't it? And I think that's, and we did the EGR delete as well today, which is something I hadn't done myself. Yeah, the um, hoses have been upgraded as well. It just helps with, uh, with reliability. So... So I'm just leaving a live tune now. We're going out for a, a little test drive in my car. Now it's got this new stage two remap. And we're going to have a look and see how this thing drives. Now it has been remapped. So now it's putting out a hundred, well it did on the dyno, 192 um, brake horsepower. And it did just over 400 newton meters of torque, which is pretty incredible off, um, off the remap. So let's go have a drive and see what this thing can do. It's quick. I've got to slow down a bit. Let's go. Let's just get on the main roads. <laughs> that is good. I can't believe how much a difference that makes. It just pulls away so much harder. And I thought when I had the when I did my intercooler, I thought that was quick. This is um, this is absolutely rapid. Pickup of it, and actually, what I'm finding is a lower speed. So, when I'm more like the 20 to 30 miles per hour range, it just makes it so much better to drive and it doesn't drag along like it used to do, um, which is a massive improvement to what it was uh, what it was like before. It actually makes it a really fun car to drive, um, which I'm really surprised about because, like I say, I've always found this car. Sometimes a little bit difficult to drive and a bit of hard work, whereas now it just feels a lot more, it just feels a lot lighter and it feels like it just, um, feels like this is the power it probably should have had when it came out of the factory, to be honest, um, the way this drives now. So I'm here with the Alive Tuning Development Defender, which has a lot of their gear on it, um, but looks pretty standard, as you can probably see. Now, I'm going to have a walk around this car. I can't... Um, Oh, I don't actually know all the things that are on this because they're developing um, a new um, turbo for it, which I can't really talk about. But some of the things this has got, it has the um, Alive intercooler, it's a stage two remap. This has the Alive um, springs on it, which are the lowered comfort springs. So you can see this car is um, slightly lowered, but I always thought lowered would look bad on a Defender, but actually looking at this, even compared to mine, I really like the look of this. So this is the, um, yeah, the comfort lowered springs. It's also got the Fox shocks on it, as obviously the boost hoses alongside the intercooler as well um, and I'm just gonna go out in this car um, just to give it a test drive um, with one of the guys so they can uh, show me what they're working on and see how quick this thing really is but my favorite thing about this is actually it's so standard looking with all the classic Defender bits on it like the rust um, but it's an absolute sleeper compared to mine that's got all these bits on it cosmetically makes it look all very nice actually this is way way faster um and so we're gonna go out for a test drive in this uh, and have a look what it can do so yeah so this is a stage two a live tune stage two with the intercooler and obviously the remap but it's also got your turbo on it yeah this has got the gtb 550 fitted to it um along with the other like you say the other alive stuff um we're still in the testing stages with it so it is putting out you know, set figures that I can't really discuss at the minute, but <laughs> there yeah. are some of the test runs on the Facebook page as well. Um, okay, okay. But it all looks very, very good for now. Um, yeah, again, there's still more work to be done. Yeah. There's still plenty more to come from it, so watch this space and, yeah. you, you know, see what happens with it. But uh, So this is a development turbo that's not 
what we saw in the shop, is it? This is a, no, this is a slightly the, larger. Yeah, this is a bigger version. So the one that we've currently got available uh, is a GTB 450. Yeah. Um, so that's the smaller one, smaller version of this, basically. Okay. Um, you know, it depends what you're looking for out of your truck as to which one you go for. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can hear this has got a bit yeah, of I can hear that. I can underlying... Hear that. Uh, Something going on. <laughs> and that's the thing, when you're inside this and when you sit outside, it's a pretty standard looking 90, isn't it? But it's it got is. all this gear um, underneath. Yeah, it's, it's your, your typical wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah. Like second gear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is quick. That is quick. <laughs> right, it's so a standing start in the alive tune center. So I've just arrived home from a live tuning. Uh, a really, really fun drive home. It was about an hour and a half, and I really got out on the main roads, got to test it a little bit, what it was like. The car is a whole different car now it's had this remap. Even the top speed, the acceleration, everything is completely different. In fact, it's quite scary for a Defender how quick it goes now. It was so fun, in fact, I pretty much ran out of diesel. So for anyone who does have a TD5 Defender, you can get 30 miles on the fuel light without breaking down. And I never knew that was possible, but coming back from Laos, there aren't many petrol stations. So if you are going heading out that way, make sure you've got a fuel, full tank of fuel, and maybe a little bit more for when you do come home with your new remap, just to see what it's like on the way back on the back roads from Laos. And I just want to say thank you so much to Alive Tuning. They're an amazing team, a really good group of guys. Um, thanks to Mark Martin, to Jason in the office, to Stuart and Will in the garage um, who put my car on the dyno, got it mapped. And finally, thanks to Gary who owns Alive Tuning who did the map on my car. And I think what's special about Alive is that they really tailor the tune to your car, what you're after achieving, and test it on the dyno as well. So you get a really good sense as to, firstly, your car's running to the best it can do for you, but also that you're not doing your car any damage, which for me is really important because I want to keep my TD5 for a long time. So I didn't want to just get a map emailed over and just download it onto my car. I want wanted someone to make sure that firstly it ran well and was doing a good job so just to say thanks so much to those guys they are so passionate about what they do and um, in all things tuning but particularly for the TD5 engines and that really really shows through with all the parts they offer so not just the remaps but also their suspension and, and everything else that they do um, there at the uh, at the garage and, and the workshop so if you are thinking of getting a retune for your car uh, and your Defender, I would highly recommend a live tuning. I'm sure I will be back there to get a few extra parts. I'm thinking now um, the ride on mine isn't quite the same as what it is on their silver one, which has the Alive Springs and also the Fox Shocks. So thinking of going down that route next um, for a bit of more, a bit more drivability really, because now it drives so well, um, uh, you know, it keeps up with traffic really easily and actually passed a lot of traffic. But I think now is important that it just feels a bit more comfortable and doesn't sort of bang about as much as mine does. And that's the biggest difference I noticed we're going out in their demo car uh, to mine so I think that's probably going to be the next upgrade but anyway thanks so much for watching this video if you're new to the channel please click subscribe like this video leave me a comment in the boxes below of what you guys think of this video and let me know where we're going next with it what would you like to see next on my defender I kind of have an idea of where I'm thinking but always open suggestions of what to put on my car next and what you guys at home want to see so thanks so much for watching again and I'll see you in the next video Time, but we pointed out that tomorrow isn't here right now, babe.